when you follow a religious ideology, everything is about getting you to surrender to it. There's no question about it. You cannot change the laws of religion. This is the way it is. So in a way, it's very valuable because it tells me exactly what to do. It's just like classes that I go into and, and I you know, learn the way. The way to what? Well, I mean, I suppose peace is something that you're trying to attain, but then it kind of depends on whether or not you're talking about the religion or the way of the heart. Um, because sometimes they focus on not here, but later, after you die. Well, that's a carrot. That's the carrot. The, the, the thrust of it is, is, is stability. Uh, um, um, stability, um, uh, reducing the unknown, having, a, having that kind of a stable existence, and uh, the religion as a, as a discipline to all that. Um, and controlled by a power source with the carrot of, you know, the afterlife. So here is, is what Shabastari is saying. Shabastari is an incredible, incredible mystic. He's the one who came up with all these mystical metaphors. Sharia is the conviction. Religious belief is a conviction. Truth is the treasure. The connection between my conviction and the treasure is the tariqa, is the way. So we take that path of going from my conviction, not for my maybe, perhaps, I hope, type of stuff. I'm going to go with pure conviction. If I did not do this right, I'm going to be punished. And I have a very strong conviction that it's going to happen. Or the child that blows himself up is convinced that he's going to straight to this beautiful garden of paradise with all the hoories and all the things that he can even dream of. Now that's pure conviction. But you see, the way from that conviction to the truth has been in the hands of evil. The driver of the vehicle has been evil. So that whole passage is, is going to where he's going, is that is for him, is the way. But it's been in a wrong hand. Rumi one time, uh, he was dancing and the, the poetry was pouring out of him. And suddenly he stopped. And he looked at Hassan. Hassan was his good friend. Hassan, I love everything about you, but there is something that I have the doubt about it. And that thing is that you believe that God is everywhere. And he says, you see, when you see God everywhere, you get easily fooled. Because sometimes you see with your eyes, of, with your eyes of brain, and you think that this is it, because this looks so attractive. And you feel like, well, this is going to help me to go. Uh, and comes that whole idea of, you know, uh, beauty and the beast type of thing. Mm -hmm. You're missing the beauty because you're seeing the beast. 